Like, what's it all for if not to impress our relatives? <laughs> I think what got me into filmmaking was just growing up. I wanted to I wanted to write books when I was a kid, and I wanted to be a storyteller. I got this video game called Metal Gear Solid. Like video games at that point had just been the things I did in between like Razor scooters and like kissing girls. And uh, then I got this video game, specifically a demo for this video game, and it was like the first time I'd ever seen something so cinematic because as a kid I didn't think of movies or anything as cinematic there were just things that were on and then I saw that and it made me start focusing on how cinematic movies and television can be and then just as I got older eventually I still wanted to be a storyteller so I started making movies with my friends. I think the highlight in my career really isn't that much of a highlight it was just when I told my parents about it um, I worked on a documentary for Mind TV. I literally just showed up on the last day of filming this documentary, did some additional camera work, and it ended up winning a regional Emmy. So I told my parents, hey, this documentary we made at work won an Emmy. And now my parents heard it as, David has an Emmy. David is an Emmy winning producer, which is fine, I guess, but it's not true entirely. <laughs> yeah, I think my dream job would be uh, working on, like, the writing staff of whatever the next Breaking Bad's gonna be, you know, just being a part of something in the writing room for something that amazing would be probably my dream job. There's a music video director I really like. His name is Hiro Mirai. There's just giant frogs in the background, and there's, like, a dog without, like, a face, and it's just these crazy visual things that he does that are so simply done, but they just make his videos stand out. I think right before I started film school, I'd just seen Zodiac. At the time, I didn't know anything about lighting or color or anything. And I remember thinking like, what am I doing wrong with my Canon HG10 with its 40 times digital zoom? <laughs> like, why aren't my movies looking like this? And then three months into film school, I was like, oh, that's why, because I suck. <laughs> I gotta get better. The biggest thing I kind of had to overcome getting into this field was my own self-doubts. That kind of killed any motivation I ever had to try to do something because I always thought, well, if I do it, it's probably going to turn out like shit and I'm going to waste a bunch of people's time. It started hindering kind of the things I wrote and the things that I tried to uh, shoot. Since I went to film school and I met all these other people and found out, oh, they have similar self-doubts but they want to help me with mine because they think my idea is awesome and I think their idea is awesome. It's like just having that like kind of community constantly bouncing back and forth with each other. It kind of made me realize, oh, things are possible. I just can't do them alone. One of the first videos I ever made, I posted it on Indie Mogul. At the time, they had like a message board where people could post their work and give critiques. One of the first responses was this guy that was like, you need to learn how to color correct because filmmaking is art and you don't make art. You took a shit on a canvas. And I have always thought about that fucking guy. Every single movie I've ever made since that guy had such a profound like message that I live by and I hate him, but, but he, he, he changed my life in a weird way. He made me rethink, you know, what I'm actually putting in front of the lens and what it looks like and what the final edit looks like. I don't know. Fuck that guy is the gist of this. <laughs> but it's great advice. You know, make art. Don't take shits on canvases like I did. I think, I think you know, for me, that's all I ever wanted. I wanted to hang out with my friends and make movies and just always have Hot Pockets. Like... <laughs> And that's success. For me, if you ask my parents, it's the Emmy that I apparently have. If you ask me, it's all those Hot Pockets I could eat all the time. <laughs>